Merck Foundation continues its strong partnership with African countries to build healthcare capacity, improve access to cancer care, and advance people's lives through science and technology. During the 19th General Assembly of the Organization of First Ladies of Africa, held at the African Union headquarters, Guest of Honor Professor Frank Stangenberg Haverkamp, Chairman of the Executive Board and Family Board of E. Merck KG and the Chairman of Board of Trustees of Merck Foundation, affirmed Merck's long-term partnership with African countries to provide oncology fellowship programs, provide practical training for fertility specialists, and empower infertile women through access to information, health and change of mindset through Merck Cancer Access Program and Merck More Than a Mother campaign. First ladies of Africa, ladies and gentlemen, 44 years ago, I was a young student. I traveled through six South African countries um, on my honeymoon. And that was the time when I really fell in love with this continent. Since then, I have visited virtually all countries. There are some missing, like Chad, for example. But, and uh, <clears throat> what I've seen is the following. I've seen women, African women working in the fields, African women tending the houses, African women tending market stalls, street stalls, young girls carrying the water, and became very clear to me and to my friends with whom I all did all this travel, Without the women, Africa wouldn't work. And I really mean it. So on this basis, you see, being now the chairman of a big pharmaceutical company, uh, we considered what can we do really to help? Because we also see the need for improvement of health. You see the need for proof of education, the need for doctors, and so on. In the vision of the Africa's agenda, 2063, the Africa we want is a prosperous, powerful, peaceful, integrated, intellectual and inclusive Africa. Therefore, it is crucial to have a real economic transformation with a social dimension that will ensure not all, only all basic needs, but quality of life for all Africans. We set up a special comp if you like, company, it's a Merck Foundation, and Dr. Rasha, she sits behind me, is the chairperson to run it. Yeah, and this, the whole effort of this Merck Foundation is really focused on improving education, life, health. We have got several programs, you heard about that already, like a, a capacity advancement program. That means we are training nurses and doctors on diabetes. <clears throat> we have got the Merck Cancer uh, Program and which, with, with an oncology fellowship. And for example, countries like Ethiopia, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Ghana, Nigeria, Ivory Coast, Botswana, Zambia, Rwanda all participated on that and profited from it. We have got uh, Empowering Berna, which is a program where we help impoverished, stigmatized, infertile women, giving them some economic help to establish themselves uh, in a, in a, in a, in the rest, for the rest of their lives. And of course, we have got Merck More Than a Mother, which is a fertility program, and there now it comes more clear, the First Ladies played a very important role, like we have got ambassadors for these activities, and the First Ladies of uh, Sierra Leone, Central African Republic, Nigeria, for example, are ambassadors for these programs. If you look around, and I really I traveled the world, you will never find anywhere in the world, maybe in, in uh, the United States, where the First Ladies play an important role in politics, in influencing decisions, in really creating a better world or trying to create a better world. So the First Lady organization in Africa is unique, is influential, is powerful. And what I can see so far, you use it extremely well in, in furthering and bettering the life of, of your citizens in, the, in this continent. Yeah. I think uh, you do a good job and uh, it is a unique opportunity for the private sector actually, with the help of the First Ladies, to implement the programs and to, to do what we want to do to help countries in developing their health systems and the, the, the status of health in their, in their different countries. Thank you very much.